In Morgan County tonight, what was once considered essential in the middle of tornadoes producing storms is now being called inadequate tornado sirens. We have had them and heard them going off for decades now, but could they become a thing of the past? WFO 48 Sean Dowling spoke to Morgan County emergency managers about the need for alternative ways to alert the public. Sean. Well, Liz, all of these experts said the same thing. When it comes to severe weather, you have to rely not only on your ears, but your eyes, particularly what's right in front of you. The houses that we live in today are so much more soundproof, so much weatherproof. Noise doesn't come in uh, and noise, you know, you just you don't hear it. Decatur Fire Chief Tracy Thornton explains you're more likely to see and hear a weather alert on your phone, especially since the homes we live in these days are good and bad when it comes to severe weather. The uh, weather warning devices that are made for to alert outside people just can't penetrate into houses like they used to. Brandy Davis, the director of the Morgan County Emergency Management Agency, explains the tornado sirens are from a bygone era. It's also um, old technology. It's civil defense error technology, so it's, it's old technology. Davis goes on to explain that it's from the 1940s and 50s, made to alert people who were working outside. Jeff Birdwell, the director of the Huntsville-Madison County Emergency Management Agency, Agency, describes tornado sirens this way. It's a tool in the toolbox. They're called outdoor warning sirens for a reason. Uh, that they're meant to work really outside. The problem with Decatur system, according to emergency officials, is there are two different systems that cover Decatur city limits, outdoor warning sirens and Tennessee Valley Authority sirens. The TVA sirens are an all or nothing system. So if there's just a small area that will be affected by severe weather, all of the TVA sirens go off. Davis worries this might lead to people ignoring future warnings. Uh, we want to avoid sitting, you know, any sort of emergency information too often because we absolutely don't want the public to be um, sort of tone deaf or cry wolf for it and, and not pay attention when they really need to pay attention. That's why Davis is working with city officials to come up with better ways to reach people in their homes by providing more targeted smartphone alerts when there is severe weather. Reporting live in Decatur, I'm Sean Dowling, 48 on your side.